Hello, hello. <clears throat> Guess who's back? Yes, today I wanted to talk about this uh, Warren Plus 2 mag extension for the uh, uh, Glock 43X MOS. Yes, look at that. Some of you might notice this, you know, uh, TLR7 sub here. Yes, yes, yes. In my previous video, I asked, hey, you know what? What should I put on here? Some people recommended this. I did my research and I am digging it. So, yes, that's on there. And uh, this over here is my other, I guess, uh, if you want to call it upgrade to the to the uh, to the 43X. Um, yes, the Warren plus two. Let's see here. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Perfect. Now, let's take these bullets out of here. Probably should have did that before the video, right? I have a whole bunch of people messaging me, talking shit, but whatever. Okay, so now, we are clear. Notice, notice how the uh, slide locked back on the uh, empty empty mag and I'm gonna tell you why that is uh, something to talk about I guess okay so uh, the Warren plus two uh, love it love it love it I don't want to use shield mags I explained that in my other video you know I just you know something about you know just mixed reviews I guess and um, so I figured I would just go with factory put a plus two be good whatever i got super excited when i uh i went to go uh, load this magazine right and i'm just you know one two three four five ten eleven twelve and then thirteen went in there beautifully so i was able to put 13 rounds inside of this mag and uh so i put the 13 rounds in there it's a plus two by the way with a 10 round mag so it should have been 12 uh should have been 12 yes but um i shoved 13 in there and 13 went in there like so so smooth and i was like damn this is badass so then uh i put i put it in the gun and you know i got a little rack on my shelf in my little gun room and uh, i left it there for like i guess i want to say three days so for about three days it was there just sitting there and uh i said you know what let me go take that mag out and i just you know, boom, 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 took all the rounds out of it. And when I went to go pull it back, uh, I destroyed, I guess, the uh, spring, uh, the spring tension in here or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, it just wasn't strong enough to push the, uh, push the, uh, the uh, slide release all the way up. And I was a little disappointed. I was like, damn it. And uh, I guess, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's not important for some people. Maybe it is. I don't see why it would not be an issue for some people. But for me, it was just, I was pissed. And um, I thought about it. I was like, okay, 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 let's figure it out here. So one more, one more round fit in there. I destroyed it by putting it in there and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, when you take this factory mag off of there, there's a little tiny piece of plastic uh, floor plate where the spring sits on. It just doesn't rest on this. Well, obviously, because it pushes in, it pushes the uh, the little detent right here, you know. So, yeah, so, you know, there's a little, there's a little uh, floor plate in here with this little thing here. So I ended up uh, opening this thing back up and I slid it back inside there with it. So it has, a, I guess it has kind of a little... I guess it has I guess it has kind of kind of a little angle in there now but it's pushing up on the pushing up on the spring now and I figured it wouldn't hurt nothing since I was able to put uh, an extra round in there and problem solved and now I've actually had this mag full with ammunition resting uh, for I don't know maybe maybe two weeks something like that and uh, after two weeks as you can see you know, does what he does. So I guess you know if if uh, if you're interested in these things, I mean they're just. Let's look at this. Oh my god, yep, they're just fit nice and snug. I like that little screw right here. The Terran Tactical has a little, a little uh, 
it's like a little a little rod here, a little stainless steel rod or whatever. But I mean, this was this was awesome. And uh, I was looking at all these other ones, right? I was looking at all these other plus two magazines, and I just wasn't feeling it, you know. And then and then I was looking at some where they were kind of like uh, they were kind of like trying to trying to build the the plus two, plus three, plus whatever the hell to kind of fill this void here. And I do not like the way that looks, you know. I just you know and and you know Warren was coming out with these, and I was like, great. I just love the way that looks. And uh, Terran Tactical, uh, I, I I don't know if I was looking hard enough. They weren't making them for this. I would have I would have gotten with that because I do love the way those look. But I mean. Uh, but they don't have this nice little recessed area here for you to, for you to pull the mags, you know, in and out real nice. Uh, so that I liked about it. Like I said, huge fan of Warren. All my scope mounts, well, the majority of all my scope mounts are Warren and no issues. But, I mean, check this out. I mean, we're here talking about this, but whatever. Uh, so I guess this, this is my plan. I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry this plus two in the gun, obviously. Plus two in the gun, extra mag on my belt. I should be good to go with that. I don't really like carrying the uh, uh, the uh, the inside the waistband uh, holsters that have you know everything. You know, it's got your gun on one side and then it's got the extra mag on the other. You know, I got my gut's too big for that shit, so uh, I try to stay away from those. But yeah, I can I can put this you know maybe maybe in some type of an elastic band or something like that on my belt. Uh, you know or i mean i just take it like this you know what i mean i mean you know i always feel like i gotta be ready for something but i mean you know how practical is that you know i mean i say that now but i mean you know for what this is this this, this was intended to to be something something light you know quick you know run to the grocery store run to the gas station you know i'm not gonna be gone all day where i feel like i need to carry old faithful over here you know 15 rounds and stuff like that um but yes, when I do go out of town, I usually carry, I usually carry the Glock 19. I usually carry the uh, the Glock 19 and a couple of a couple of 30s and 40s in the car. I don't know why. You know, I feel like I feel like when when I'm when I'm when I'm far from home, I don't want to carry like like an AR-15 or something like that. You know, you know, I just carry, you know, Glock 19 with a couple of couple of extended mags and stuff like that. You know, in in a in a uh, in a shit hit the fan scenario, you know I probably got about maybe three or four of these in the car when I travel, you know out of uh, out of town. You know I rarely leave out of state, but uh, out of town, you know what I mean. If if, I, if, I, if I'm five six hours away from home, you know I carry a couple of these and and uh, I'm okay. But like I said, this right here it's it's got it it's got its purpose. You know what I mean? It's gonna have its window of uh, of opportunity when when you know go to the movies. I want something a little slimmer. You know something not in the way. You know just going to the movies at home. You know going to the grocery store at home. You know if I'm gonna be gone all day running around hitting the streets. You know then of course you know I carry I carry this. But you know this like I said it's got it's got its time and place and uh, I can't wait. Now I need a holster. Maybe you guys can recommend me a holster or something like that. Uh, I think I am. I'm gonna I think I am just gonna keep the uh I think I'm just gonna keep the old factory trigger in there. It's not Eh, you know. But uh I do want another barrel. So if if you, if you guys know of anything cool black, I would I would I would like to go black. I mean maybe maybe something else, it doesn't matter, but just you know something something nice, something in stock, I guess. You know, I've been having a hard time finding finding stuff like that uh, lately. But uh yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm here to say that this thing is perfect. You know what I mean? It is just amazing. I mean, I don't know if it's compatible with uh, with the shield arm mags or not or what, but it just, it just looks good too. Just look at that thing. Oh yeah. And I, I don't mind, you know, I don't mind the, uh, the huge, uh, the huge, uh, you know, label here that they got. I think it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And I also have a uh, a twenty, a nineteen round. I'm sorry, I don't know why I want to say twenty. Well, I want to say twenty because I think it's so stupid that they didn't just make this to. I mean, you're gonna make a magazine, might as well just make it an even twenty, right? I mean, I don't know, whatever. But I, I honestly, I, I do trust you know these mags. The uh, uh, what do you call these freaking? Uh, what do they call these things? I'm never ready. I tell you, oh, there it is, right there. 
what does that say on there? The ETS or something like that? Yeah, the ETS group or... Yep. Yeah, so I really do put I really do put a lot of trust in these, like I said. I mean I've got I've got I've got a couple of these and I've also got a couple of Glock magazines that I do not trust. Well a couple yeah, like I said, a couple of them. I got two Glock magazines that I do not trust for shit. I have these run great, never giving me a problem. And I have some uh Taiwan made uh thirty round or thirty one round Glock magazines and that thing runs flawlessly and for some damn reason I cannot get my factory Glock uh thirty round mags thirty one round mags to function properly. It just somewhere in the middle they just screwed up. This one over here has got a small issue. Uh doesn't wanna doesn't wanna drop. It's swelled somewhere in here i guess but you know let's let's test that theory uh no we're not supposed to have ammunition uh around uh firearms are we sorry about that guys but i'm the only one home you know if anything i'm a danger to myself okay wow okay so look check that out just slides right out you figured you figured a, a full mag would, wouldn't have an issue uh wouldn't have an issue falling out of there, but an empty mag, I'm a, uh, just shoots right, shoots right out of there. So what's happening is, is uh, I'm guessing these walls on here are a little thinner than these, obviously. But uh, I'm assuming it's, I'm assuming it's kind of bowing somewhere up here when the ammunition's full. Not a problem. Like I said, I mean, is this, you know, this these. These type of mags, you know, I, I never carry these mags, like I said, on, on on my person. You know, these are just, you know, range mags or something like that. Or I'm going out of, I'm going out of town. You know, you know this and that. But like I said, I wouldn't take this out of town with me. I would not. It would be, like I said, old faithful over here. But uh, yes, let's get back to the start of the show. Yes, the Warren Plus Two, excellent, just great, just love it, love it, love it, love it. And like I say, is if you're interested in getting one, I'm here to tell you that yes, yes, do it. But uh, I know I haven't made a, I know I haven't made a video in a while. I just you know, I thought I'd put that out there. Just got this. Was super, super, super excited about it. Super, super pleased with its performance and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.